welcome to the reservation, the rest of Wisconsin. And that really, really resonated with so many people in that room. Uh, with people who, you know, historically have clashed with Ho-Chunk. People whose ancestors stole Ho-Chunk land. People, this is the mining heritage, right? The miner on our flag. These were lead miners that stole, that broke treaties between the Ho-Chunk Nation and the U.S. government and stole land to mine lead in these people's territory. And now it's coming full circle. And this legislature, this Ho-Chunk man is coming and saying, you know, having survived all of that and the complete loss of all of their land, the persecution of their people, the boarding schools, all of that, coming back and very respectfully saying, uh, we have a different kind of knowledge um, that is valid and true, and the you know now the rest of you people in this state you're seeing what the powers um, of money and greed have done to us because they're starting to do it to you now. People, people in um, urban Milwaukee who, who have just been under relentless attack for 50, 60 years. I mean, there, was, there was probably one moment in time, you know, maybe, maybe a good 10 or 20 years in, in the 40s and early 50s that um, living standards in, in Milwaukee and, 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 and things were really good because of the industrial jobs there. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, uh, many of them African Americans, but also, you know, poor white folks from Appalachia migrating there to, to get jobs. Um, and then once they were there, the African Americans you know, struggling for so civil and social rights and kind of, kind of getting them. Um, through fair housing, but through a lot of you know direct action with the same state's government. Um, but it's just been a struggle, and then in the, you know starting in the 70s and 80s, deindustrialization, all those people losing their jobs, um, you know 40% unemployment among African Americans in that city right now. Um, it's just. Really terrible, and the safety net being trashed. You know, Gov Governor Walker um, turning down almost a billion dollars in Medicare expansion money, right? And then refusing to set up um, set up health care exchanges in the state, <clears throat> and then blaming Obama, blaming the federal government for a poor rollout of. Affordable Care Act. 